Hey guys, Cindy A. Lewis. Welcome to my channel today. We are going to do a fun DIY called a floating teacup with Dollar Tree flowers and Dollar Tree spoon. Just have to find a teacup and a saucer. So it's really fun and I think you will love it, especially for Mother's Day. Thank you so much if this is the first time you visited my channel. I've had so many come into my channel. Thank you, Karen. K is for Karen has been helping to support my channel. We're going for 10K and so excited about that. So welcome. If you are not a subscriber, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. We have so much fun. You can be part of my YouTube family, which is great and I would love it. So there's a button below that just says subscribe. Go ahead and just click that button, uh, click on the bell, and you'll be notified every time I upload a video so you don't miss anything. Okay, well, let's get started. So, side note, we're under severe thunderstorms, and there is the tornado siren. So, I'm going to stop for right now and come back in a minute. Okay, well, we're okay. This is quite the storm. It's still thundering out there, but we're all good. Leo sighting. Anyway, okay, well, let's get started. I want to open my teacups. I haven't opened them yet. I ordered these off eBay. And this is a really awesome thing for a Mother's Day gift. And you will love it. So, Crafter's Companion um, has one that I, I was inspired by that they use their foam flowers to create. So I want to use Dollar Tree flowers and do the same thing. So here we go. Let's look. I packed them really nicely so that they didn't move. Look at that. These are so pretty, guys. It's going to take me a minute to get in into them. All right, let me open them. This is the cutest little teacup and saucer. And that's what you need for this craft. Uh, one teacup and one saucer. And it can be mixed or however you want. I got this set from eBay. I ordered from eBay. It's like 20 bucks. So if I make six gifts, it's not going to cost me very much for each individual gift because then I can divide this. So that's what about $3.50 or less per teacup. And then the flowers and the spoons and a little bit of glue. And it's going to make a beautiful Mother's Day gift. So let's get into it. Linked the eBay uh, seller that I purchased this from in this purchase. So if you're interested in something similar, you can uh, purchase that as well. The next thing you need is a spoon. You just need one spoon and you're going to bend it. I will tell you these Dollar Tree spoons are quite thick and hard to, <laughs> to bend. So I bent one that I already had and this is the way that it needs to look. So you need it to bend the spoon part up you need an angle for the stem, and then you need to bend the bottom as well. So you can do something similar to this, or this, or I did some more. So I'm gonna take this one, and you can just use hot glue, which I thought E6000 would work really well but hot glue works and Sarah Davies recommends it. So let's do that. Now what you're gonna do is glue this part down onto your cup. If you can see right there, it's kind of weird lighting. So I'm gonna put a lot of glue in here. I want my stem up a little bit because it's gonna look like it's pouring flowers out of it, the cup, right? So we're gonna go ahead and put the glue on that and get it glued while we get our flowers ready. I'm going to put glue here and quite a lot of it. And 
then I'm going to put my spoon like this. Now that's all going to be covered up. You can see, I don't know, the light's challenging it. Now I need to let my spoon dry on my cup. So I'm going to set it aside and let it just, Sarah just let it hang off the table. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to set it over here and let it dry. All right, the next thing that you need to do is decide what flowers you want and cut them down. You don't need any stem on your flowers. So you just need to look what would go good. So this has yellow, pink, and peach, and red. So really just about any color. So I'm gonna pull some flowers out and cut them all down. That's all you need to do. Okay, I've got a lot of flowers here, just the real, the buds of them. They're gonna be so pretty together on the teacup. I probably don't even need all of that, but we've got it. Then we've got the teacup with the spoon. You can see that it holds that spoon really well. And then we're going to glue this spoon to the teacup. Now, one thing about it is the teacup needs to lean. I don't know if you can tell, let me show you. It needs to lean. So don't put your glue in the back of your spoon like this, because that's gonna strain the teacup. You need it to lean this way. So your glue needs to be on this portion of the spoon. My, my saucer has some real pretty flowers here and here, and that's fine but we're gonna cover a lot of that up anyway. And so, like I was saying, we need to put our majority of our glue here and we need to make sure that we put a lot of it. So I'm just gonna start putting a bunch of glue on here and I'm almost at the end of my glue stick, which is not necessarily a good thing when you're trying to put a lot of glue. All right. And we're going to have to hold it there. And it does, does radiate the heat. It is a conductor. Metal is a conductor of heat. And here we go. Look at that. That's the coolest thing ever. All right. Now we're gonna put our flower, the flowers all around and down this, this spoon so that you can't see the spoon. So we're gonna cover the spoon up and it's gonna give the idea of the floating teacup. Have you ever seen the floating cakes where it looks like candy's pouring out of a cake or a cupcake or a cup onto the cake? That's the same type of premise here. All right. Now's the decorating part, and you just need to decide how you want your flowers to be arranged on your teacup. Now you're on your spoon, you're gonna cover both sides, and you're gonna put flowers inside your teacup. So what kind of flowers do you want in your teacup? I think that would look really pretty. Um, I don't really want that one in there. And that one would look pretty too, but I really like the red. And now it's the fun part. The fun part of just decorating and adding colors and how you want them. So I'm just gonna do that. And there it is, your floating teacup. Let's see if we can get a better angle. Okay, see it's pouring down the flowers onto the teacup a saucer. From the teacup and it's just so pretty what a fun gift for Mother's Day and then you could add more flowers if you wanted to you could add ribbon if you want to I even have a dragonfly but I'm not gonna add it I'll show you though you could even add uh, like a dragonfly if you wanted to add more to it but I like it I'm just the way it is so I'm not gonna add that so let me know what you think about this, and um, if you think you might make one, 
really inexpensive but actually very elegant and beautiful here we go I made three and you can see depending on the angle that you bend your spoon it's going to have the tilt of the cup so this one you can see is a little more this one's a little less I will tell you the spoon stem needs to bend over the spoon itself I showed you that angle it definitely needs to have that angle otherwise it will not stand up correctly so there you are floating teacups uh, which one's your favorite purple flower red flower or peach and pink which one do you like the best thank you for watching out this has inspired you to create something special for mother's day and enjoy some Dollar Tree flowers and spoons. Thanks for watching.